For years, we did not want to be like Illinois in so many ways. Wisconsin did not want tolls. We hated Illinois tolls, where people for years were grouchy at the toll booth south of the border. Then they had electronic tolling, and I have that now, where I just drive with my iPass down Indiana to see my sister and my nieces. No problem, it's very pleasant. But now we're faced with this dilemma. If in fact the Republicans and President Trump won't do a massive infrastructure plan without the states putting up some of the money, how are we gonna put up some of the money? Because the Democrats aren't in charge, well, take that as a premise, so that may not, then there may not be an infrastructure plan without the Republicans approving it, and that's the deal. Senator Fitzgerald has said we should have tolling. The only way we're going to get the money to get a federal match. We have all kinds of work that has to be done. Road projects, delayed new roads, road surfacing, bridges, all kinds of patchwork. There's no question we need the work. I would say as a person who drives to Indiana a lot with my iPass, it's worth the effort. I don't have to wait anymore, no lines, no grouchy toll booth attendant. And I know it's painful, but I'd rather do that than not get the work done. Mitch, they're cost overruns. I know they're always cost overruns on road projects. Very seldom, if ever, under budget, on time. I understand that they should think of, take a look at those contracts. Take a look at maybe contracting out, whatever the case. I understand, but I'm saying, if you don't get the work done, it's not good. We have to have roads that work and bridges that are safe and all those things. So I would say I would put in a vote for yes on electronic tolling as one who tolls all the time. That means I'm not trolling, I'm tolling. By the way, a couple of Valentine's Day gifts, don't pick up the one rose at the convenience store at the last minute, and don't do what I did years ago on it with a new date, and I said, boy, I can't believe how crowded this restaurant is. She said, it may have something to do with the fact that it's Valentine's Day. I said, oh yeah, but it's usually not this crowded on Valentine's Day. My two cents. My two minutes brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCaution, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who knows how to get things done downtown. We can talk about this and more on The Mitch Eggs Show on MadisonTalks.com and Facebook Live.